<laughs> Hi. I am popping on live um, because I said I was going to start trying to do that for the new year. I know this was unannounced, but I think Sunday is going to be a good day for me. Um, so, Carla, hi. <laughs> hi, Tracy. I know this is unannounced, but I just wanted to pop in for um, a check-in. I said I was going to start doing this starting the new year. Hi, Susan. I think Sunday's a good day because I'm already dressed from church. <laughs> Half the time, that's why I don't go live because I'm like, oh, I don't feel like putting on makeup. <laughs> Aw, thank you. That's so sweet. Hi, Tammy. Well, I just wanted to pop on live and um, do a little bit of information for you guys and then just talk, answer any questions you may have, um, see how it's going with your businesses. Just say hi. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> um, I know that, you know, some of us are struggling. Some of us are doing really well. And I want you guys to know it's all in seasons. So don't get frustrated. Ride the ups and the downs. Because trust me, even I, I say even I, I mean, not even I, I also <laughs> have those um, same frustrations, same ups and downs. You know what? I never used to feel the whole don't want to go live thing. Um, but even that now, like I... Well, I take it back. I kind of did, but I now like really don't want to go live most of the time. <laughs> and so, um, you know, just getting over the different, um, I don't know, hangups we may have or just things we're going through. Maybe time is challenging for us. Maybe we don't have inventory. Maybe we're just not in the mood. Who knows? But whatever it is, just know, don't give up. Like, ride the waves. Do what you can do. Do your best. Do your business the way that you do your business. And that's the key to me is figuring out the best way for you to, you to do your business, the best way that works for you. And it may change. Like, for me, it's definitely changed. You know, it was Facebook Live, Facebook Live all the time. That was my big thing. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Lakeisha. Uh, freezing up. Is it freezing up for everybody? Or um, is it just your connection, Tracy? Because if it's for everybody, then I can pop off and back on because I might need to switch the internet that I'm on. I always forget to do that. So let me know. Um, everybody, if it's freezing up for you, just type freezing or something in the comments so I'll know. Um, but yeah, um, so I was just saying like, it may change. Like for me, you know, it has definitely changed. Like I was all about going live and all of that. Um, but I don't know. I am weird about certain things. Like if I see on my timeline, a ton of people going live, then I don't want to go live. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is. I, I just have a thing about looking like I'm a follower. I don't know, but that's just me. Um, so one thing I do is I always try to unfollow my paparazzi sisters, unless you're on my team. If you're on my team, it's different. I'm, that doesn't bother me. Like, I love seeing you guys go live, and I share it, and yay. But just others, I don't know. I just don't like to... <laughs> to see all of that. Cause I just feel like, Oh, nobody wants another jewelry sale, you know? Um, so for me, that was something that one way that I kind of adjusted things, but it probably is a big reason why I'm not super big on going live right now. Um, but whenever I do go live, I always have a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I don't know. So one thing I'm doing to adjust, cause I do still want to, you know, run my business is I'm definitely, um, wanting to gear a lot more towards focusing on team building and just, you know, keeping our team moving and progressing. Um, and then also doing more local stuff. I want to kind of, you know, create a name and a connection with the local community. Um, so like I'm, I signed up with a Facebook group for moms in my community and through that group, I find, found that there was a group of people who did like little vendor kind of sipping shops. 
So I connected with them. So I'm going to, you know, start doing those, setting up at these sipping shops. And then also, um, you know, we put on comedy shows. So, of course, trying to plan more comedy shows so I can set up at our comedy shows. So just doing more of that kind of a um, thing has been something I've been focusing on. I also want to get my Bling Boutique set up. So that's going to be a focus for me this year and doing like uh, maybe by appointment only where people can come and shop here um, and then maybe doing little get togethers uh, where we do, I don't know what, but something kind of social, like networking kind of thing or maybe like a sip and shop, um, but doing it here, you know, because my room is big. It's a hot mess right now because we had a show um, New Year's Eve. And I tore my whole room apart, set getting all my product and stuff for that show. And I haven't put it back together yet because I have that sipping shop coming up. So I'm like, oh, I don't feel like putting it all back together just to take it all back down. So, yeah, it's a hot mess right now. I'll show you. Look, uh, can you see? Oh, the cabinets are shut. Those are a hot mess right now, too. But look at the space. It's hard to tell really on here. Like, you can't see how big this room is, but it's really a big room. It'll be perfect for a boutique once I set that up. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that is something I will probably do in the next, I say by spring, it'll be done. So can you guys um, hear me or is it still freezing up? Oh, good here. Okay, good. All right, perfect. Oh, that's awesome, Susan. You found a Facebook group for direct sales people network in your community. That's good. Yeah. So I think the sip and shop that they're doing is really cool. Um, I mean, really, you could plan it and connect with direct sales people in your own area. The moms groups are great, but it's really cool because, um, you know, we all invite people to come and you have them invite people and they do giveaways for you registering that you're going and then you have to come to win the prize and it's just all different um, direct sales consultants and we all buy the different things so like there will be um, I think it's all I don't think anything is alcoholic <laughs> um, but it's like mocktails you know and um, what else like a candy bar, uh, just different, like, it, it is, and it's going to be set up really nice. And so, like, I want to host, we're going to do one for Mother's Day, and I want to host that one here, like, by the pool. I think that would be really nice. But, um, you know, just doing more of that kind of stuff. And I don't think paparazzi is super big yet in where I live. Um, so I think there's a good, you know, this would be a good place to grow my business locally. Um, because so many people in my network on Facebook are, are consultants too. And a lot of my customers <laughs> are consultants and, um, I'm just not going live. If I keep going live every week, that's going to grow my business, you know? So I, I mean, that would be what I suggest is that you do that, but you also have to be true to yourself. And, you know, if you're not really feeling that, then you you need to figure out what you are feeling and do that versus doing nothing. <laughs> That's my my thoughts. So what about you guys? Hi, Nicole. How's it going for you guys? Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I will come back and answer those. Um, I'm going to share with you a from the files. Um, I like to pull stuff from our team page files or Tara's team page files or Angela's. Um, and this was something that I actually pulled from Tara's team page files, which I thought I had it up on my phone, but it went away. So let me get that back. Um, let's see. One second. Where did it go? Um... Oh, okay. So this one is um, tips for getting more views and sales while live. And I'm going to also talk about um, just in, with Facebook in general. So, um, you know, maybe this would be helpful for some of you. And if you have any questions about using Facebook, um, doing screenshots or saving a, um, a post so you can come back to it or any of that kind of stuff, 
let me know because I'm pretty good with that stuff and I can answer that for you pretty quickly and easily. Um, and if I can't do it on here, we can do it offline too. So uh, let's see. This is, I'm trying to stay up because the comments aren't popping up. So I have to keep scrolling just to see them. But all right, let's see, Lakeisha. Okay, good. Go ahead and type all your comments in. I'm going to go through this and then I'll come back and, um, and answer the comments. That way I don't lose my train of thought. <laughs> all right, so this is tips for getting more views and sales while live. All right, so number one is being consistent, setting a certain time, a certain day and a certain time. And that worked really well for my business. And I could see the difference when I stopped doing that. So um, that definitely will make a huge difference for you. Even if people aren't getting on, you just keep doing it, keep doing it consistently and people know, and um, it's probably gonna be in here. But if you announce that you're going to be going live, then you will see the the um, viewers come up and all of that. So um, she says that, okay, Ver you can go live from your shopping group or from your main page. What do you guys do? Let me know. Do you go live from your shopping group or do you go live from your main page? Um, for me, I go live from my main page. I have, I don't know, over 3,000 people I'm connected to. And if you're not connected to at least 1,000 people on Facebook, that's my number one tip. You need to add friends to your Facebook. And they don't have to be real friends, just people. <laughs> Preferably people who look like they would buy jewelry, but you really never know. It could be, you know, the person you least expect will be the one who ends up buying jewelry from you. So, um, yeah, that's why for me that it works better to go live from my personal page versus from my shopping group. If I go live on my shopping group or from my business page, I can pretty much expect to get like hardly any views. So that's the first tip. Um, making sure your personal page is public, very important. Um, so you also want to make sure that you have it set up for public. And then when you go live, you can share it into your shopping group and share it into your or onto your business page. So that's also good. Um, also, what I used to do, and I don't know if you guys liked this or not, but um, hi, Paula. Paula says she goes live from her main page too. Yeah. Um, and you do pretty well with yours as well. But um, I like to share it with the team because if nothing else, if the team hops on our lives, then it helps like we show each other support and love. Even if we're not buying, we're at least like doing hearts or thumbs up and comments. Hey, that's cute and stuff like that. And the more comments and reactions you can get, reactions are the hearts and the thumbs up and all of that, the more Facebook will show your live to more people and their news feed. And that's because I guess Facebook just, you know, they if your live is like dead, then they're just like, okay, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> but if it's like popping, then they're like, oh, let's show it to more people because that makes people like Facebook if they have content that they really like. So, oh, okay, that's weird. Um, <laughs> so that was something I used to do and I'll probably start doing it again, sharing those into our team page. Um, I guess I stopped because I didn't want people to feel like I was trying to pressure everybody to go live and I didn't want people to feel intimidated, but I think it's good. Plus maybe it'll give you some, you know, thoughts or tips on how, what to do when you go live and maybe it will encourage you to go live. So, um, who's, who's, uh, hearting it up? <laughs> I love it. So, um, yeah, you want to share it. If you're a leader, share it on the team page. And if you see other people on your team's lives, join in their lives when you can. Do some comments, do some hearts, do all of that. That's going to help their live. And their sales helps you as a leader because you rank up based on volume. So your team being able to sell means that they can buy. And if they can buy more jewelry, that's your volume. That's how that all works. So definitely that's why I share my team's lives and you know I don't know if that can hurt your own personal sales or not but I don't care because for me the 
the bigger bang for the buck or the most value comes from you guys being successful than for me to personally be successful. I do want to personally be successful. That's not what I'm saying, but your success is very important to me. So, um, yeah, that's that. All right. Let me keep it going. Cause I could go on and on. Um, all right. So this is saying that you also want to friend your customers. Um, so they may join your shopping group without you knowing. And so you're not really friends with them because you can only add people into your shopping group if you're friends with them. So you would have to friend them first, but if they just join your shopping group, um, and you're not friends, then make sure you do friend them. Or if they join your live, um, make sure you add them into your shopping group. If they joined your live from your personal page, I don't know where to look. Do I look down? at the myself or do I look up here like I I'm bouncing back and forth it's driving me crazy <laughs> um, let me get a drink I'm gonna be thirsty I'm also hot let me turn on the fan hold on one second oh that was the light <laughs> okay <sighs> that's better all right so um, yeah, that's, that's it. So then saying all of that leads me to the next thing, which is the reactions, which I was mentioning. You want to get people commenting and reacting. So the last thing you want to do is just go live and just show your jewelry one after the other and not talk to people and interact. And some of the things that I would do for that, this is making me want to go live again. <laughs> that's good. Um, because it was fun, or it is fun. I just don't do it as often. <laughs> I probably go live once a month now versus every week. But um, what I would do when people join my live, I acknowledge them, everybody. They're probably, not, some of the people are probably, they hit it accidentally because I get some crazy people. I've gotten gospel singers on my lives. Um, the lady who founded the Super Bowl gospel um, celebration, she joined my live before. I don't know if she purposely did or not, but I acknowledged her. And then guess what? She felt obligated, I think, to stay on. I mean, it could have been legitimate, but maybe it wasn't. But she ended up purchasing from me. <laughs> but so you definitely want to acknowledge everybody when they join your live. And then you also want to, um, or not want to, but one thing that I would do is say how I knew them, if it's somebody I know. Some people you don't really know, and you can't do that. Um, but uh, it's funny, Paula, remember you joined my live and I was like, hey, you said you were coming or something. And it was like a totally different Paula. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard because, you know, the picture is so tiny. You can't really see for sure who it is. <laughs> but um, I'll try to say how I know them. Like, oh, I went to high school with her. We used to we were cheerleaders together or wow, I worked with her like 20 years ago. I haven't talked to her since. I'm so glad she joined. You know, like I'll tell everybody else on the live who joined and how I know them. And I don't know, it just makes it kind of more fun and interactive. Um, so that's something I, I get easily distracted, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's something that adds value. It makes it more fun. It makes people feel like they know you. They know each other. So do that if you're not already doing that. And let me know if you notice a difference. I think you will. Um, also, and I don't know, I, I'm not going by this because I can just do this off the top of my head. Um, also, uh, asking them to share is so important. Sharing and comments and reactions. The reactions, how you get that, you can ask for them. You could just say, give me some hearts, give me some thumbs up. Or another thing I do is I tell them, like, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, give me a heart. If you don't really like it, then do a sad face. And, um, and I even tell them, you know, it's not going to hurt my feelings because you doing that reaction. Well, now I know what you guys were laughing at. You were laughing at me not knowing what, where to look. Okay. I saw the happy, or the laughing faces and I was like, who's laughing? But sorry. But um, yeah, so I'll say like, if you give me a reaction, it actually helps more people see my video. Like I tell them that and then people will start really doing it because they want to help you. So I also tell them if you share the video, I don't just say please share. I say if you share the video, like that's how I grow my business. More people will see it and that's how I get, you know, new customers. So then they're like, oh, let me help her. Let me share this video. 
So um, also, of course, tying a share to a contest is always good. You know, um, yay, Paula, thank you for the hearts. <laughs> um, tying it to a giveaway, that's always a good thing, um, you know, to do, which I can get that into that a little more. But I know someone was asking about, um, about doing plain blingo. And, you know, there's different ways you can play. And I was sharing how I play. And the whole reason I even play Blingo, I mean, yeah, it's fun, but mainly it's to help more people see my life. And so the way I do it is if you share the video, you get a ball. If you um, buy something, you get a ball. And every time you buy something, you get, you get a ball with, you know, a number on it for bingo. Um, and then, you know, I tell them the number, tell them to write it down, and then I put it in the little spinny thing. And so that's how I do it. So you get a ball, whether you purchase or not, because all you have to do is share the video to get one. But I also tell them to type the number that I give them in the comments. That's increasing my comments, right? And I, um, and I also get more people sharing the video. Um, and then I do drawings. And the way I do the drawing, well, I do certain different things. One, of course, I pull from the balls. So those people will win. And I do it like maybe every 10 people who join or maybe every 10 items I sell or just randomly because I feel like doing a giveaway. But I'll also do giveaways where I'll have people type in the comments a number between like 1 in 20 or 1 in 50 or something. And that's getting more comments because they're having to type in the number. And then I'll, you know, pick a winner, whoever's the closest. Um, I've also done things like telling people to type, um, type like, tag. Uh, is that what I would say? Tag? I think it was tag. I would tell them to type a word. I think it was tag. And they had to keep typing it. And I would just be doing my live. And then I would just randomly say stop. And then whoever had typed the last tag um, wins that item. And so they're just commenting, 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 right? The whole time I'm live, I keep doing it. And then once I give that item away, it's like, okay, here we go again, type it. And that helped my life tremendously because I was getting so many comments. So that's another thing you can do. Um, also, when you do pick a winner, make sure you post on their page, not just your page. Congratulations. So after you're done, when you announce the winner, I would always do a post. I would do it on my page and on their page. Um, or I would at least make sure I'm tagging them in my post so it shows up on their page. But I would say like, congrats, like thank you all for joining in and for buying and for sharing and just for, even if you joined on accident, thank you for supporting my business. And I would say congratulations too. And I would name the people and make sure it tagged them and say, you know, um, for winning a piece of Tanya's Blink, for sharing my video or whatever. And that way it's showing up on their wall too. So then their people will see, you know? So I would do that as well. Um, and let's see if there's anything that she said that I didn't say. Um, also, like I had mentioned before, you want to announce you're going live, if you can make like a cute graphic. Um, there is a group on Facebook for making graphics or ask me, I can help you um, do that. Uh, there's an app called Canva, C-A-N-V-A for making those. It's very easy, but just make a cute graphic that says going live and the time and you can put a piece of jewelry in there or the live you know, thing or put your picture or whatever and post that on your page to let people know that you're gonna be going live. Um, you can make an event and invite people or a watch party or ask your, um, I, my last time I went live, one of the people on the team, she created a watch party. So I gave her a free piece of jewelry just for creating a watch party. So then she had a ton of people joining her watching my live. And I was like, okay, I'm going to definitely do that next time. So I, I tell them, hey, if you make this a watch party and people join, I will give you a free piece of jewelry just for doing that. And I got, a, you know, in front of a lot of new people. So um, I think that's it for this. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, my goodness. I missed comments again. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Look at the camera. So up there, that's where I look. It doesn't look like I'm looking at you now. 
or does it look like I'm looking at you now? I feel like this is looking at you, not up there. And the last thing I want to do is look crazy like I'm looking up in the air. <laughs> oh, goodness. Never thought to share and congratulate on their page. Yeah, that definitely will help. <laughs> okay, so the heart is, so tell me in the comments, up there at the camera or look here at myself. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Nicole, relax and be yourself. What did Nicole say? I'm going live from my page for the... Yay, Nicole! <laughs> All right, when you go live, how many devices do you need? Just one for video? Or do I need another to watch? Okay, I'm going to come back to that. Let me go back to Lakeisha's question. Um, I had planned to host one like that with my cousin, but she's a travel nurse, and she was called away for two months. Ah, we need to set it back up. Yes, a Valentine's theme would be really, really nice. So are you talking about the in-person? You were planning to do the in-person with her? like the sip and shop or something yeah that would be really good and that's what ours is our sip and shop it is it's a valentine's theme um so it's you know like the valentine candy and um i'm giving away a fashion fix set that's red and yeah so that i think is a perfect theme for a sip and shop okay nicole i'm going live from my page for the first time tuesday night i just signed up I have a question when you go live, how many devices do you need? Just one for video or do I need another to watch? Okay, great question. So I'm live right now on our team page and I'm just using my laptop, that's it. So I can see myself, I can see the comments. Hi Colleen, I can see everything all right here. So you just need one to um, be able to see your comments and to you know see yourself. It depends on what type of device you're using too. Just keep these these little things that I've learned in mind. When I go, you like me looking at the camera. Oh, okay. So up there. Okay. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> oh, Nicole said, look at yourself. <laughs> so I guess it works for you guys with me bouncing back and forth. <laughs> um, but when I go live, I always use my phone. I rarely do it from my laptop. And the laptop is nice because you get a nice big picture and everything. But for me, it's hard because the way you move is opposite of what you see. So let's say I'm trying to show this ring. Wait, let me think of something better um, that has a little more detail on it. Let's see, do I have any jewelry close by? I probably do because it's all over the place. Let's see. Oh, I have a box of jewelry right here. So let's say I was showing this necklace. All right. And it's fine when you're coming up close like that. Okay, see like that. I was trying to turn it this direction. Um, I was trying to turn it to the left. But when I turn it to the left, it actually turns to the right on camera. Or like if I go to the right this way, it's going to the left on camera. So you have to be intuitive to know, like, let's say I'm trying to show you, see, like I'm not getting a straight shot of those earrings. The way I adjust it, it's opposite of what in your, of the real way it should be. So because of that, when I was trying to show certain pieces, it was just very difficult for me. Maybe not for everybody, but for me, it was. So I go live from my phone, and I do it up and down, not sideways. Because if you do your phone sideways, it's great because you get a fuller picture instead of just that, like, bar with the black, you know, on the sides. But when you do it this way, it's the same issue, where you have to do things opposite. It's like a mirror. Think of it like a mirror. That's kind of how it is so it was just hard for me so i use my phone and i do it oh, see i was trying to get closer this way and i have to go opposite <laughs> but i do it up and down straight like this and that way um you know it, it's just easier so i use a tripod i put my phone in a tripod or if you have someone that wants to help you and hold it for you that's nice too the first time i went live my husband did and he read the comments to me and it helped, <laughs> but um, I don't do that anymore. Um, so I just put it on a tripod and I show the stuff and read the comments, just like I'm doing with you guys now. Now, when you're on your phone, you don't, hi, Jessica. 
when you're on your phone, you don't have to um, scroll like I have to keep doing on here and I can't see who's joining and all of that. Oh, okay, Paula, I definitely will. Um, but when like when you're on your phone, the comments just continuously keep feeding. So sometimes if you like turn around and do stuff, you may miss something. So you do want to kind of make sure you're going back and you, you see all the comments. Also, I make sure to tell people, you know, um, what I see may not match what you see. So, you know, I make, I'm say like the first person who comments sold or bling or whatever your word you're using, um, it's based on what I see because based on internet speeds and stuff like that, I have found where people think that they got the first sold in, <laughs> but for me, I didn't see theirs first. So I tell them that up front. And if this is your first time going live, it may be the first time others um, in your network are seeing someone go live. So it'll be helpful for you to explain that to them. But just like who said, was it Paula? Someone said, just relax. Yeah, Paula, relax. Be yourself. You'll do great. You may mess up and screw up. Just so what? Just laugh it off and tell people, hey, it's my first time going live. I've never done this before. If you go back and look at my first live, OMG. First of all, to me, I looked a hot mess. Um, I mean, I looked nice, but I looked a hot mess at the same time, you know, for, for me, <laughs> what I feel. And like I said, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, no one had told me anything. I thought it was going to be just kind of simple. And then it was just like, I was literally like, oh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> So that was why my husband ended up reading me the comments because I didn't know for some reason I didn't know how to see the comments. I don't know why, but anyway. All right. So let's see what else here. Lakeisha Sip and Shop. She does treats and candies. Okay, perfect. Yes, Lakeisha, stay on her. We have to, like, when we get an opportunity like that, you never know. That could be your next team member at that Sip and Shop. And that team member could be, like, a huge... You know, they could become like a huge consultant. So definitely um, take advantage of that if you can. Uh, warn about posting to online yard sale sites and it being against policy. Yeah, Paula, <laughs> we have somebody here in our town who uh, has been doing that. So um, definitely when you're posting to the yard sale sites, you can post there and share your shopping group. You can post and share your website, tell people about your business. Just think about it like that. Like I'm telling them about my business. I'm not actually selling in that site. So you can't go live in that site. You can't share your live to that site. You can share a link to your live, like to your shopping group where you're live or something like that. But you can't, wow, this is using up my battery quick. Um, I had like 50%. Now I'm down to seven in my Charger, I think, is downstairs, so I'm going to wrap this up. But, um, yeah, so that's how the shopping groups work. Um, I think same with Marketplace. Is that right? Or can we still have Marketplace now? I don't remember. Wow. I think it's the same thing. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. It's too bad because, honestly, that would be a great, great way to grow our business, but it is what it is. Several, Paula? Really? Wow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, people can report you, you know, if you do that. So definitely don't do it if you're on this team. Um, so do if, let me know if you guys have any other questions before my laptop dies out on, on us. Um, I just wanted to give some other tips, too, if you don't go live, but you, you do posts. Um, Sometimes post on your main page, you know, post in your shopping group for sure, but also every now and then post on your main page. And the best way to do it on your main page is to do it with yourself because people are connected to you personally. So you could show a picture of you wearing the jewelry. Like, let's say I had this necklace. Um, oh, see, I'm trying to adjust it. But I got to go opposite. Um, let's say I had this necklace and I had, you know, an extra, then I would wear it and then say like, oh, Sunday's bling. And then I would say that I have more of this necklace. And I just did that. Saturday.
Saturday, actually. I posted it on my business page and my shopping group and on my main page of me wearing a, what I was wearing that day. I called it Saturday's Bling. And I you know, posted a link to buy it in the comments. Sometimes if you post the link right in your post, then Facebook doesn't show it to as many people for some silly reason. So I put it in the comments, but I put a picture of the actual item like from the back office in the, on there too, so they could see like, oh, this is a piece for sale. So that's a great way to do it from your main page is to make it more about you. And hey, by the way, I have it for sale. <laughs> um, also, uh, you want to, like I said, grow your, your network. You should be up in the thousands. You know, this is a networking um, business. So you need to be growing your network, adding more people to your personal page. Hi, Lasagna. So that way more people will see your posts and all of that. And post regularly on your personal page and show pictures of you just in your regular life, having fun, keep it positive, put encouragement. I try to do a wide variety of things on my main page. I do encouraging things, funny things, things personally about myself, things personally about my family, things that show that I'm successful. People may think you're bragging. I don't really care. You know, if I show a picture of me hanging out by the pool, like, Somebody else may be thinking like, oh, I want a house with a pool and all that. She must be getting it from her jewelry business. That's not actually the case, but, <laughs> you know, um, I mean, it does help. But, um, you know, then people want to be connected with people who are successful. So show things that you're doing if you, um, even if it's not related to paparazzi, you could have got a promotion on your job or maybe you got, um, I saw somebody post something about employee of the month and whatever it, oh, Carla did, you know, just share that kind of information on Facebook. Um, and someone else told me they call it fake book because they're like, oh, people only post the positive, never the negative. But it's like, why would I don't wouldn't even want to be connected with someone who's posting a bunch of negative stuff on Facebook, who's posting about, you know, the, the zits they just got on their face or who's posting about not being able to pay a bill. Like, I don't that's not why I'm on social networking. <laughs> so, um I don't mind that people are positive and posting all the good things in their life. That's kind of really the, the things I would want to see. So if you think about it, right? Um, so yeah, do that and keep growing. And also super important, comment on other people's posts, not just you posting all the time. It's a give and take. You want to give the love the same way you want to receive the love. So comment on other people's posts. Give hearts to other people. If somebody does comment on your post, say thank you. Do a happy face or a bitmoji. I love bitmoji because it's like you make it look like you and they get to see your personality and your character. And there's so many fun little bitmojis in there. Post those um, because it helps with that connection. And it also just helps you grow a following. Um, and tell people to follow you. I don't know if you all know, but on Facebook, people can actually follow you. Look on there on your personal page um, profile and see how many people are following you. And just tell them when you go live or in your posts, hey, follow me if you want to see more, you know, invite people to join your shopping group. I'm not a big fan of shopping groups. I used to love it. And when I loved it, it was because I was actively posting it in there every day. And I was making it kind of like my little world or like my neighborhood. And I was like posting all of my motivational things and my fun things and contests and all of that. But for me, it's so hard to keep up with that. And if you don't keep up with your shopping group, and if you're not continuously posting in there and growing that, it will go dead. And mine is so dead right now. And it used to be so live. <laughs> but um it is what it is. So I use my personal page more, but I also have my business page. I also made a profile for Tanya Van. Hey, I'm building a brand and as I grow, who knows, you know, I, I want to just put it out there, right? You put it out there, then what is it? You build it, they will come. So I'm like, hey, I'm important. I'm going to make a page for myself. Um, but yeah, and, and look at your business as a brand. I know Tara's saying that now. I've been saying that since I joined Paparazzi over a year ago. It's the whole Tanya's Bling, Tanya's Bling team. I made a logo, a team logo, all of that. And I told Tara that back then. I was like, I'm building a brand, an empire. Like, I'm not just trying to be paparazzi, paparazzi. This is not a 
it's not just about paparazzi. It can't be. What if something happens to paparazzi? Then you're dead. Your business is dead. So um, plus, what if you want to branch out and do other things other than just paparazzi? So think of it as a brand. And who are you as a person? Are you quirky? Are you funny? That's the persona you want to show on Facebook. And just grow that. And that will help. So I hope all of that helps you guys. Hi, Sheila. Thank you for joining. Go back and watch the replay from the beginning. I'm going to come live more often with you guys. Sunday seems to be a good day for me since I'm already dressed from church um, because I work from home. So during the week, I may or may not look appropriate to go live. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do it every week. It may be every other week. Um, it may be every week. I don't. I don't know. I'm going to pray about it. <laughs> Isn't that what Christians say? <laughs> All right, guys. It was nice chatting with you guys. Um, if you didn't get to get your comment in here or you have a question later, several. Darn it, Paula. I don't know what that's about. Um, and it's a sad face. I don't know what that was about. I'm sorry. Hmm. I don't remember. I hate that the comments are delayed, but um, feel free to message me, personal, private message me. Um, if you need anything, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Also, let me just say this really quickly. As a leader, all of us have different styles and you have to do the style that's best for you. And it may change, you know, at one point, maybe you're this style, then maybe you'll switch up to this style, depending on what's going on in your life. And that's okay. And so for me, I'm not one, I, I probably never will be, but I'm not one who will just be private messaging you guys. Hey, how's it going? Do you need anything? I just don't have time for that. I absolutely could not do it. I really would love to, but I just don't. But I don't know if I would love to because I really don't like when people do that to me that much. Um, I don't know. It's the same thing like if I don't go to church, I don't like people calling me to see why I didn't go to church. It's like, I'm a grown woman. I'm okay. If I need you, I'll let you know. But um, just know, even if I'm not private messaging you, I'm here for you. I will do anything I can to help every single one of you in any way I can. Please feel free to message me. Plenty of you do. And those who do will tell you that I'm, I get back with people almost immediately. Sometimes it is immediately, but I will always get back with you and I will always help you in any way I can. So I just wanted to say that. All right, guys, have a great night. Bye. God bless.